say hi. Welcome back. Today we're doing my eight month update. And I'm going to break mommy's computer. Say let's get right into it. Let's get right into it. Everyone, welcome back. So, if you're new, welcome to our channel. And today we're doing our how many months? Eight months. Eight month update. Okay, so I have my notes for eight months on my phone, just so you know. That's why I'll be looking at this. Um, this month flew by. I don't understand where time is going. This boy is like a grown man at this point. Like, he's crawling around. He's standing up. He's getting into everything. Right, Cam? Gone are the days where we could sit him on the bed and run and do something real quick. Come back and he's still in the same place. Gone are the days where you can just kind of do whatever you want with him without him protesting or having a tantrum. Right? Yeah, exactly. So, let's start with sleep. About two weeks ago, I started a sleeping schedule. Because... Cameron. It is getting harder and harder to record these update videos because... He's trying to get my camera. He's just crawling around and getting into things. Right? You're having tantrums. I can't keep up with him. So this is how I have to keep him still. I have to hold a snack and a bowl and sit him here while he eats it. And even that barely works. Anyway, um, I started his sleep schedule about two weeks ago because he, before that, he, um, he wasn't trying to go to sleep until like 11.30 p.m. 12 a.m. and I'm like we can't do this anymore because I'm a school student and I have to get up really early in the morning so for me to be trying to get you to sleep at 12 in the morning is taken away from my sleep so I would go to class and be falling asleep <laughs> I'm like I, I need to do something about this so I changed the schedule where basically he is fed by at least 7 7 30 then he gets to play a little bit, and I'll bathe him, read to him, and then he's going to sleep by 9.30, I'd say. 9.30 or latest. I'd say around 9. Um, right? So he seems to be adjusting pretty well to that so far. We'll see how it goes as we continue. He's also sleeping through the night in his crib. And I hear a lot of horror stories about that with kids just not wanting to be in their crib at all. But he really likes his crib. So, that's a plus. Um, that's pretty much it for sleep, though. So, in terms of food, we tried stage three again. And he still is not feeling it. But we did find one that he actually likes. It's called Oatmeal Raisin Cinnamon. So... The whole thing with stage 3 food is that they have chunks in them. So we've seen some with like spaghetti, like the noodles are the chunks. We've seen stuff with like peas in them and little pieces of pea and just different things. Even rice I've seen. He doesn't like those. But I guess because for the oatmeal one, it's really just soft oats. He doesn't really mind it. So that's about the only stage 3 that he will eat. He is obsessed with these Gerber Puffs and um, the plain Cheerios just in the regular yellow box. He's obsessed with those. He started using a sippy cup this month and he really likes that too. I think, I think it's really just the independence that he likes. Here, he's able to pick up these little things and feed himself. He's able to pick up his sippy cup and drink on his own, so... He's had a really weird experience with food this month. I think he's starting to have some food allergies. And what I'm thinking so far is corn and sweet potatoes because I gave him that one night. It was both of them together. 
I gave him that one night, and then the next morning, he was covered in hives, head to toe. And he was scratching all crazy. Like, it woke me up in the middle of the night. He slept with me that night. It woke me up. He was just scratching, scratching, scratching. I could tell he was so uncomfortable. So I had to go and get, like, this really cold rag and just kind of wipe him down to cool his body off. And then I had to find his ointment, his eczema cream. So that helped. But I'm like... What is that from? Like, what could you be allergic to? So, we've been doing a lot of trial and error this month, but I don't really feel confident about it. So, I think what we're going to end up doing is going to take an allergy test, which sucks because those needles, nothing to play with. But I will feel better knowing for sure what he is and is not allergic to. So, we're probably going to do that in the next few weeks. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, what else? He's drinking way less bottles now. In the beginning, he was drinking a bottle about once every two hours. But now it's really like once every maybe four hours. And that's because he's eating the jar food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So he's, he's getting full in those other ways. And soon it'll be time to wean him completely off of formula. So we'll see how he transitions for that. We're going to have to go back to the GI doctor because um, we're going to need to talk about him transitioning back into dairy and seeing, you know, if his allergy got any better with that. Because typically kids that have a milk protein allergy, um, they'll grow out of it by the time that they're one. So I probably should make an appointment for maybe his 11th month and then we'll discuss We'll discuss what will happen with that. That's it for food. Social. He was featured on the Fashionistas website once again. So cute. Um, let me just tell y'all about the events that this child has gone to this month. So he was at an NAACP dinner. He was at a five-year-old's birthday party, his godbrother. And he went to a 50th birthday party. All in this one month. I'm telling you, he, like, my calendar is full of events that he's invited to. And even when there are events that I'm invited to and I'm thinking I'm just going to leave him behind, you know, get a babysitter. They're requesting his presence. They're like, can you bring Cam? We don't really care if you come, but can you bring Cameron, though? Why are you so popular? <laughs> what else for social? He was asked to be a brand rep for another company, but they're being kind of sketchy lately, so... I don't know if we're going to go ahead and do that, but we did get an outfit from them, and it's really cute, so we'll see. I got to feel it out a little more and see how I feel. But I think that might be it for social. Moving on to developments. There were a lot of developments this month as well. Um, he has two teeth coming in. I'm so excited. Well, one is completely here. The other one is about to come through his gums now. They're both at the bottom and the middle. So, very excited about new teeth. Um, he's starting to walk with this walker toy. Before, he didn't really, like, all he wanted to do was play with the toy. And then, like, he would hold on to this, but he would pull it instead of push it. He was a little confused. But now, he'll, um, he'll, he'll walk with it. He'll, he'll take some steps with it. Right? You take steps with it. However, he gets distracted along the way. So he'll walk for a little bit and then he'll stop and crawl to whatever he sees. In the oh, oh. This is all he wants to do at this point is just jump up and down all day, right? Um, he's beginning to mix sounds together, as you can probably hear. So he mixes like ba ba ba, mama. Um, dad, dad. And he he like jumbles up all the sounds to make a sentence, and it's so funny to hear him do that. Hey, you miss me? Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> he loves peekaboo because now he's starting to realize like when you're not there, like when I when we're in a room together, say say I was to get up right now and leave the room, he would start crying because he knows now that I'm leaving. So in the instance of peekaboo, when you're covering your eyes, he thinks that he doesn't really think that you're still in the room. So he loves to play peekaboo. Bye bye. Bye bye. 
he thinks it's the funniest thing. If you want to see him laugh really hard, you gotta play peekaboo with him. For real. This little boy notices everything. Everything. He will notice a crumb in the corner of the other side of the room. The other side of the house. He has that, like, that 2020 vision. He sees something he wants, and he's going for it. It's like, we could be in the same room, and I'll have my eye on him every once in a while. Like, I'll look up to make sure he's good. And sometimes he gets real quiet, and I know that's a bad thing. <laughs> so I'll go up to him, and he's, like, real focused on trying to pick up something so small. And I'm like, boy. 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 <laughs> in terms of sizes, he is still in a size 4 pamper. He's moving on to size 12 clothing. He is bursting out of these 9-month clothes. Right, Cam? This is a 12-month right here. And it fits him very comfortably. And then he's between like a 4 and a 5 in terms of shoes. And we went to the doctor this morning. And he finally got weighed. If you guys remember, in the 7-month update, I was saying no one knows how heavy he is because he distracted the nurse by peeing on the scale last time we went. So as of today, he's 21 pounds. So heavy. And last but not least, his favorite products of the month. These are definitely one of his favorite products. Um, I don't remember if I said these are these are one of his favorite products last month, but these are the Gerber Puffs. Um, we have them in strawberry apple as well as banana, and he loves both flavors. He is obsessed with his little sippy cup that we got from, I think it was Stop and Shop. It's one of those non-drip ones, so if you hold it upside down, no water is going to come through. Um, yeah, so he loves that. And we got him a toy phone and a toy remote from Amazon because we noticed that he likes to collect all of the house phones and the cell phones and the remotes for the TVs and tries to eat them and... We don't want him getting electrocuted, number one. Number two, we don't want him changing the channels and turning off the lights and messing with our phones. So we're like, let's just get him his own. But of course, babies are super smart and he knows that there's a major difference between the two and he still wants to use our son's phone. A little bit of a fail, but he still uses it. He still likes them because of the lights and all the noises, right, Cam? But other than that, um, I think that's pretty much it for his eighth month. Right, Cam? You have anything you want to say? Look. <laughs> no, you just want to break my computer. You're going to break it. Y'all see his teeth, though? Show them your teeth. Ooh. Wow. Say bye-bye. Say thank you for watching. <laughs>